Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we integrate the smart form inside our program. We are calling the smart form through the function module of the smart form and we called, yes, the function module of the smart form inside our program. Now we will proceed further. I will run. Suppose I am giving some input. Whenever I will click on to this button, user command called. And now this pop-up appeared. The customer is giving the device and checking the print preview. Now in real projects, Customer will not go for these many actions, but customer will say, why I should give the device name? I have already have a device. You should hard code the devoid device. You should pass the default value of the device. Why I should click on to print preview? I directly want a print preview. Why, why this pop-up is coming? Why I should give the device name? why I should pass the, why I should click on to print preview. But customer will say, whenever I'm clicking on to this button, I directly want a print preview, nothing. I will not pass the device. I will not click on to print preview button. I do not want that pop-up at all. This is how real project works because customer wants to remove, yes, customer want a smooth process. Whenever customer will do the minimum action, always customer require minimum actions, minimum. So what we will do? This is explained in the smart form playlist also. But yes, depends upon our current requirement. We will cover this part. Whenever I'm clicking on to this button, just see, we need to automate three things now. Firstly, we need to remove this pop-up. Whatever this pop-up is coming, whatever this dialog box is coming, we do not want this dialog box. Second, Customer will not put the output device. It means we need to write a logic to put the output device. Customer will not click on to print preview button. It means we need to automate the process of print preview also. It means we will go for three things. Firstly, we will suppress this pop-up. We need to write a logic to suppress this pop-up. We need to write a logic to pass the output device. We need to write a logic to automatically understand print preview because now we will not go for manual action. It should be a automation. No pop-up, no dialog box required. We will not, customer will not put the output device. We need to write a logic to put the output device. Customer will not click on to print preview button. It should be automatically understand by the system that customer want a print preview. So we will go for these three things. We will write a code for the same. We will automate these three steps. So how we will automate? I will go to the code. I will go to the code. We are calling the smart form through the function module of the smart form. If I will go to the function module of the smart form, suppose I will go for function module of the smart form. I'm running this smart form. I will go to display. I will go to import. Import means what? Input. You can see SAP gave so many input parameters. See, these all are the by default input parameters. We have not given. We only gave these four input parameters. 
these are the by default input parameters available. Now we will go to these parameters and check what are the various things we can use to automate our process. So firstly, I will go to control parameters. I will go to control parameter. Control parameters is of this type. I will double click. Now we will go for first thing. We do not want that dialog box, dialog box. Have you seen we have a column, no dialog. If we will put no dialog is equal to true, it means dialog box will not come. And you all know whenever you are going for true value will be what? Capital X, capital X. Space means false. X means true. So if, uh, if I will do not want that dialog box, I will simply, simply put this particular column is equal to capital X. So dialog box will not come. Next thing, customer will not click on to print preview button. It should be automatically ticked. Have you seen we have a column preview? If we automatically tick, if it is automatically ticked, we will simply, simply pass the value of preview is equal to capital X. So we have two things. No dialog, done. Preview, done. No dialog, capital X. It means that pop-up will not come. Next, preview. Preview will be capital X. Yes, it means that particular preview button will be automatically ticked. Now, third thing. Third thing is all about the output device. Output device. If you see, whenever we are running, we need to now pass the device. This LP01 should be automatically populated. We should pass it by default. Now, this is the most, most common mistake. And because of that, the output will not come. People will simply use this device and they will give the value of this column is equal to LP01. Whatever the device name is there, but this is not the right column or component. Suppose I will show you how you can check and how you can come to conclusion. See, suppose if I will do F1 here, what is the meaning of F1? F1 is for technical information. Check the technical information. If I will go to technical information, you can see we have this data element. Data element has a domain and what is the data type and length character four, character four. If you see this particular column, it is character eight, character eight. So it will not suffice our requirement. Yes, this is not the right column to pass the device name. So if you want output device name, if I will say the best word is we need to choose spool output device. We need to check for spool output device. So what I will do, I will go to back. And in output options, if I will go to the type of output options, here I will search output device. If I will go for next, I will go to next. You can see we have a spool output device. Is this character four? Yes, this is character four. So we will use this particular component to pass the device name. That was the most, most common mistake. Yes, maximum people do. They will use because they will see, okay, device is written. They will pass the device, but output will not come at that point because that is for different purpose itself. We need to give the spool output device. 
So whenever you have this kind of confusion, always check the technical information. The technical information will always give you the right thing and you will easily, easily come on to the conclusion that yes, what you need to do, what you need to use. So you can see, recognize here also, field name, TD test. Are we using TD test? If I will go to this TD test. What is the type RS pop name? You can see RS pop name. So this is what we need to use. Yes. So we will use three things now. Two things are the part of our two things are the part of our control parameters. It means no dialogue and preview are the part of control parameters. And the spool output device is the part of your output option. Output option. I will write spool output device. Spool. This is the spool output device. So we will use these three things to achieve our requirement. Now we will go to the program and we will write the logic for the same. Now I will go to the program. Now in this program, firstly, we will uncomment control parameters. Yes, because we need to use control parameter. Now we will uncomment output options. In front of control parameters, I will declare one work area. Now, many people ask how you recognize that it is a work area. Let's see here itself. Control parameter, this control parameter is of type this. This is a structure type. This is a structure type. Whenever some parameter is type structure type it means it is a work area if it is a table type then it is a internal table suppose this lt output we gave when i double click it is a table type it means this is a internal table but this control parameter is referring to structure type it means this is a work area work area now i will go to next LWA underscore output underscore options. Now, what will be the type of LWA control parameter? It will be same as that of control parameter. What will be the type of output option? It will be same as that of output option. So I will declare now. As we are using in this subroutine itself. So I will declare here itself. Now LWA control parameters type. What is the type of control parameter? I will declare. I will copy and paste. Now same thing I will do for output options. Now I will give the time. I will check the syntax and activate up to this level. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are automating the process. Automating is customer do not want that dialogue pop up. Customer will not put that device. Customer will not click on to print preview button. It means we should write a logic for the same because customer want to minimize the action. If we want to automate, we need to write the logic for the same. So we simply went to the function module of the smart form and we checked. Yes, if we do not want dialog pop up, it is a part of your control parameter. 
if you do not want, if customer will not click on to preview, it is also a part of control parameter. So we will simply, simply pass it to capital X so that they both will become true. After that, we need to put that device name also. Do not go for this device because this is not our spool output device. You can check by technical characteristics itself. So whenever you want to provide the spool output device, we simply checked into the output option. So we uncommented the control parameter and output option. We passed our own parameters in front of this parameters. Now in the next video, we will write the logic for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.